Hello everyone, this is Dorian from Canonicalized and in this video I want to show you how you can uh, create something like this a bar chart that encodes a change over time versus a previous year so here for example I created a dashboard for uh, Nike uh, Consolidated Operating Revenue and we can pick which years to uh, compare so we can either have 2018 or 2019 in the bar and as the previous value we can have 2017 and 2018. First I want to show you how uh, the data is set up. So we have three years like you saw and we have the split and some categories in here. So what we, what we want to create uh, let's drag the revenue on the columns so this is the oh, this is what we want um, let's I have a parameter in here called compare uh, I showed it to you in the dashboard so um, we can pick what we want to compare and first things first we need two calculations uh, one is called current year so I need to use the parameter and say if my parameter compare I, I just want the left part of it because uh, the first four characters are the current year so if the current year equals year then year so I have my current year in here and if I drag it um, on the rows we can see that it shows only 2019 which is what I want and I'll duplicate it and create a calculation for the previous year and the previous year is the right part of my parameter which can be 2017 or 2018 so previous year and currently it should show 2017 okay so this works let me let me take this out uh, so right now we have the full revenue for each category and I want to get only the, the current year so if I drag this to the detail you can see that we have the three years on the bar but I want uh, only the current year so thinking about thinking in perspective um, I want to draw this uh, triangle here and the bar so the way I did it was I, I just added uh, a, a number here a minimum of four in my case to draw the bar uh, using two axes so I will use a fixed size and right align it and then I will move the revenue to the size so now I have a bar that's constructed using two axes all I need to do is to keep only the current year value in here which is 2019 so I'll say here if the current year equals my year then give me four okay so now we only have the values let me fit this to entire view so you can see better we have all the values for the current year uh, as bars so I'll just take out the border here and I can show you how we can play around with the axis and move the bar a bit higher so here I want to go from minus 1 to 5 and I have some some space under the bar as well and have it uh, aligned on the on the middle okay and I can hide this axis um, and now I want to start creating the, the triangle that you just saw so for this I used uh, three fake numbers uh, 
they're not fake, they're just uh, placeholders. One, two, and three. So minimum of two and minimum of three. And I want to create a combined axis with all of these three. So no, let's have one, two, and three in here. And I'll move this one back. Okay, so here I want to start building my triangle. Let's have it fit like this. Okay, so I'll first make this one a line so that you can see better. Drag it to the right. Okay, so I have minimum of one, minimum of three, and in the middle is two. So one, two, three for 2019, one, two, three for two. 2018 and the same for 2017 and uh, now I want to uh, keep only the middle part the minimum of 2 for uh, the current year so the minimum of 2 I'll just create a calculation in line here and say if current year equals year then give me 2 Okay, so uh, now minimum of 2 is showing only for 2019, so this is the tip. And for the base of the... In, in this case we have 2017 as the previous year, which should keep 1 and 2 in here and nothing for 2018. So I'll say if previous year equals year then 1 okay and the same for 3 so if previous year equals my year then 3 and okay so now we have the three dots all we need to do is to make it a triangle so we don't need anything on the size and we also don't need the measure names and the detail okay and the year needs to be on path okay and now I'll turn my line into a polygon there we have it so this is the previous value the base of the triangle and the tip is the current value and this changes if I pick for example 2019 versus 2018 and 2018 versus 2017 which makes it all good. I want to make sure the axis starts at zero, so I'll just add zero in here and automatic end. Uh, all, everything looks good. Let's just play around with the colors. So the bars, I'll just leave them blue and make the polygons orange or something. And I need to create a dual axis. I'll synchronize the axis and I think I need to fix this one again make sure it starts from minus one so now we have our bars and the triangles uh, from here on out we only need to format some things so hide the headers uh, fit to entire view and get rid of all of the dividers and axes, uh, grid lines, and zero lines. Okay, so now we have we have it a lot cleaner. And I guess we need to to keep the previous value reference line. So for that, I can create a calculation. Call it uh, current no sorry previous uh, value so if uh, previous year equals year then uh, give me the value which is revenue in millions and, and now I'll put this on detail for the bar and I'll drag in a reference line here 
uh, it needs to be on revenue M on self and from here we can pick previous value since we added on the detail pick a value and then uh, maybe make it dotted so and this is all there is to it pretty much and after a bit of formatting and cleaning up the design we can get to something like this thanks for listening uh, if it didn't make sense please send me a comment and i'll try to to explain it better thank you and see you next time